State in Tulsa here. This is a live scene going on right now following Mississippi State's win in the Lockheed the Martin Armed Forces Bowl. The Bulldogs are just joining us right now. Win it by two. Let's send you back to Chris Cotter. Keep back together. And it got ugly, Mark. Vista cuffs were thrown. Both of these benches, not, not only they were, I mean, they were cleared because they were meeting in midfield to shake hands, but it went all the way down to the far end zone. Yeah, I mean, this turned into a, a brawl. And, you know, this wasn't pushing and shoving that we saw before the game. I mean, th there were punches thrown. There was an intent to injure people. I mean, the, the, this is the type of situation where you are hoping that these players are able to walk away. These coaches are able to walk away with no one seriously injured. And, the this coach is trying to separate the team. State troopers on the field. This is the aftermath of what just took place moments ago as the coaches met at midfield and we were signing off. It got ugly in a hurry. Here's what it looked like. And this right is the here, coaches for both teams desperately trying to keep things these teams apart. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. I mean, th those are... Those are real punches being thrown. That's Malik Heath, number four for Mississippi State. Tennille Martin is into it with number seven for Tulsa. Yeah. Look, is, he has his helmet off. He's taking actual punches to the head. I mean, it's dangerous. I mean, that those, these are strong men hitting each other as hard as they can with no helmets on. Right now, you know, there's that layer of coaches in between them, but... At some point, someone pushed a little bit. I mean, but look at this. I mean, look, kicked in the face. It was this an actual kick in the face. This is something that began percolating before the game even began, when both of these teams were warming up on the field. A lot of jawing. It progressed throughout the entire game, and now this. Ian,